In the previous video, we discovered an unhealthy drive that was kicked from our RAID array. That drive was SDB. In this video, however, the drive is still listed in our RAID and will need to be removed. We are currently at the Monitor RAID status screen, which is located in the Admin panel under Storage System Management. To return to the submenu, click the Focus button, then anywhere on the screen, and then Control-C. From here, select Remove Disk from RAID Array. Each RAID drive should be listed here. Highlight SDB, and then click the Select button. The removal process takes but a few seconds. Afterwards, click the Back button. We can confirm that the drive has been removed by returning to the Monitor RAID status. SDB has now been removed. On the physical front panel of the server, tap the power button once. This will bring you to the control panel. Our current RAID status reads as online, but refreshing the screen will change it to a degraded array. Keep in mind that your server is fully operational with only two RAID drives. After receiving a replacement drive from your service provider or GDC tech support, you'll not only have to reinsert the drive back into the physical server, but you'll also need to re-add it back into the array. To do so, log back into the admin panel. If using the on-screen keyboard, first remember to click the focus button, then enter the password configOS. Once logged in, select Storage System Management, and then Add Disk to RAID Array. The replacement drive should assume the letter of the missing drive and can now be added by clicking the Select button. It only takes a few seconds for your drive to be re-added, but the rebuild process could take several hours. This process can be viewed in the Monitor RAID status. Once completed, return back to the control panel. Our current RAID status reads as degraded, but rebooting your server or clicking the refresh button will return the status to online. 